I've been waiting to do a standalone video on the Crusader's crossbow for a while now. When I think about it, it's probably my favorite weapon in the game. I could still play a lot of medic if the vaccinator didn't exist, but I don't think I could force myself to play the brain dead husk of a class medic would be for me without this beauty. The crossbow adds a ton of much needed skill expression to medic, and I'm not just talking the mechanical skill of aiming. The decision to switch and shoot or stay on beam isn't always easy, and picking the correct option more often than not will separate good medics from great ones but I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. Let's begin with just the weapon stats. The Crusader's crossbow functions very differently than the syringe guns, but I'm sure you already know that. Instead of rapid fire needles, the crossbow fires a single projectile bolt that deals damage when impacting an enemy or heals when impacting a teammate. It also has inverse fall off, meaning the damage and healing scales with the distance the bolt travels. It does a minimum of 38 damage and 75 healing and a maximum of 75 damage and 150 healing at about 1500 hammer units away. If you're wondering how far that is, here you go. It's about the distance from me to the wall over there on Swiftwater. The weapon has a 1.6 second reload speed, but it automatically reloads on stow, so you can safely just switch back to metagun after firing and you'll be free to switch and fire again in a second or two. This reload on stow is what really makes this weapon, letting you constantly swap to and from bow without giving up too much meta beam time. And no, quick swapping between weapons does not let you fire off shots any faster. My fire rate was exactly one shot every 1.75 seconds when quick swapping or manually reloading throughout my test. The Crusaders also can't apply overheal and doesn't get any benefit from crit heals. Instead, time out of combat increases the uber charge you gain from healing a player. Back in the tough break update, Valve added uber charge gain based on healing done to the crossbow at a rate of 1% per 16 health heal. This was too much. A full 150 health bolt gave about 9% uber, letting you build a full charge with a couple of classes that could do self damage in around 20 seconds. That obviously couldn't stand, so in the jungle inferno update, Valve cut the uber given from crossbow heals by one third and gave it a crit uber mechanic very similar to crit heals. Starting at 10 seconds out of combat, the uber you build from the crossbow increases linearly to the unnerfed values at 15 seconds out of combat. This means nowadays crossbowing hurt players that have crit heals available to them can actually give you a nice boost to your uber charge. Now that we've gone over the stats of the weapon, let's get into the nitty gritty. Crossbow is valued so much more than any of the syringe guns because it adds a long range burst healing option to medic, significantly increasing healing output in certain situations and letting him heal from ranges he otherwise wouldn't be able to at all. Additionally, medic being the healer class that he is, makes use of what the crossbow offers far more effectively and far more often than he can make use of any of the syringe guns. But I've noticed for many medics, those long range shots are out of combat combat standing still teammates are the extent of their crossbow technology, but I'm here to tell you that it can do so much more. The sheer amount of health you can output during fights by crossbowing instead of beaming is insane. It can take as little as 1.2 seconds to switch to crossbow, fire off a shot, then switch back and reattach your meta beam. That's right, it's even faster than the reload speed. Realistically, it will usually take about 1.5 seconds in an actual game because you'll have to flick or line up the shot first. But you can get into a rhythm of switching, firing, switching back, and beaming for a short while before switching and doing it all over again. You just don't want to swap too fast because you won't be able to shoot yet. If in range, I would go for at least half a second of beam before swapping again so you don't switch back to the crossbow and waste time just waiting to fire. A small trick is to listen for the crossbow heal sound to start to fade away, if you hit the shot of course. At that point, you should be good to swap and shoot again. It really is just a rhythm with timing, and you'll eventually internalize it so you won't even need to think about it. But why go through all this effort of beaming, switching, needing to aim and hit your target, all while still positioning correctly and avoiding enemies as a good medic should? Well, quite simply, because it increases your average healing by an absurd amount. Medigans heal at 24 HP per second except for the quick fix. By utilizing this beam to bolt technology right at the edge of your meta beam range, so the bolts heal for about 90 instead of 75, your average healing per second jumps from 24 to 46 if you're leaving beam on for one second in between shots. Speed things up to only half a second of beam time and your average healing per second is now 51. You can just straight up double your healing output in fights through generous use of the crossbow. The downside of doing this is the tunnel vision it can cause. It's a lot harder to turn around and check for flankers or spies when your crosshair needs to be on the guy in front of you every second to either shoot another bolt or reattach your beam. Additionally, oftentimes a situation becomes too heated to stay in beam 
beam range. And this is what most people know the crossbow for. It lets you continue to pump out those heals at range while getting out of a bad situation or simply repositioning. As you get further and further away, your average HP per second continues to rise up to a theoretical maximum of 86 per second if you can keep binking 150s. A couple of small things to note. You can't bow an uber teammate, but you can use it to heal a cloak spy, which is pretty nice. It can random crit, but crits only affect damage, not healing output, so you won't be hitting a heavy for 300 HP with a randy. The projectile does spawn a bit in front of you, so it can be tough to heal a player right on top of you. However, you should rarely be this close to another player as a medic anyways, because you never want that splash damage blowback. Lastly, for healing, it's also great for those situations when a ton of players need health and buffs. The burst lets you get them to 100% health much faster, thereby getting them buffed up sooner by extension. So that's why the crossbow is so goaded. It directly increases medic's impact and effectiveness as a class in a way any of the syringe guns never could. It's pretty much incomparable in that regard to any other class unlock in the game. And so far, I haven't even factored in the 75 damage it can do to enemies at long range. Combined with the Solemn Vow and Medic can become a pseudo pick class. I easily get one or two opportunities a game to finish off an enemy that would usually escape from my teammates with a sliver of health. It's especially easy to hit cocky snipers that stay around and scope in at 75 health or less. However, my general rule of thumb is one shot maximum against good snipers and only if they aren't looking at you. If you miss it, do not go for a another. Repeaking a crack sniper is just asking to get domed. So when should you go for the crossbow shot over just beaming? All that math makes it seem outrageously strong. I mean, why do we even need our metaguns? Well, using the crossbow comes with a couple of downsides. You delay your uber build by about one second even if you hit the shot, and you have to actually hit the shot to do any healing at all compared to the near guaranteed nature of beam. Crossbow is a higher risk but higher reward option. So when is that extra risk worth the extra reward? For me personally, I know I have a very different philosophy regarding crossbow usage than a lot of medic players out there. Maybe because I use the vaccinator so much, or perhaps it's just because I find it so damn fun. In my mind, if a fight is possibly winnable by spamming the shit out of crossbow instead of beaming, I'll give up that charge in the short term and go for it most of the time. Basically trying to win a riskier fight in the current moment instead of backing off and going for a safer win with an uber or crits in 20 or 30 seconds. I mean, who knows what could happen later in the game, so I always try to output the most I can in the current engagement. You could say I just think outside the beam. Playing like this may result in more dangerous fights, but you're also fighting more often and applying constant pressure to the enemy team instead of a single uber push once a minute. I very rarely sit back and build, it's too boring for me. The simplest way to put it is that I'll trade some uber advantage over to the enemy medic in order to give our team a larger health advantage through my increased heal rate with the crossbow. Again, I think this is because I use so much vaccinator, which can easily damage control an enemy uber with only two or three bubbles. Keep in mind that I do not think this approach is optimal in every battle. The balance between heavy crossbow or beam centric gameplay is a delicate one that depends on the situation. Who you're fighting, who you're healing, what percent you're at, how much time is left in the game, etc. There are a lot of variables at play that make the choice very difficult. If there are 10 seconds left on the clock and you're at 0%, you might as well try to clutch it out with the crossbow. The uber reduction doesn't matter at all anymore. On the reverse, if there are 10 seconds left and you have 90% uber, you probably want to build that extra 10% for the pub push. Those are obvious cherry picked examples and for most fights, the decision won't be that clear cut and you'll have to rely on your personal experiences and make a judgment call in the moment. This is a skill you can't really learn just from a video. I recommend if you win a fight by spamming the crossbow, think back. Did you really need to, or could you have built a little more uber? If you lose a fight because you decide to stay on beam, now you'll know to crossbow next time when a similar situation crops up. But I encourage you, get out there and start firing crossbows. It changes the way medic can be played in such a fun and dynamic play. Trying to ride that line of crossbowing just enough to keep people alive without losing out on too much uber percent. Plus, the people love a medic that can hit them with a longer donger crossbow or even air shot. He's not running diamond back, I guess. Dude, I saw the backstab go off and I saw a fucking unusual. He's type. And I just, uh. Oh! Dude, I hit that shit on the daily. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Real quick, because I've talked about this before, and this is a Crusaders video. 
but would this really be one of my videos if I didn't bring up the vaccinator? Because bubbles stay on your heal target when you switch weapons, you can switch back and forth, letting your patient benefit from the damage reduction and burst healing simultaneously. Remember the numbers from earlier in the video that you can increase your healing output to an average of 51 HP per second? Well, with 75 damage reduction from a bubble, that means you will effectively be healing for about 204 HP per second. That's pretty much exactly twice as much as the healing from a quick fix uber charge. It's ludicrous. And keep in mind your teammate is protected from crits. So if you're wondering why I use the crossbow so much in all these vaccinator clips, yeah. That's why. Now, on to some juiceless criticisms I've seen about the crossbow in YouTube comments and such. The first lukewarm take I've seen is, but what if you miss? And yeah, missing isn't good. You give up healing and uber charge. But so what? Do you ever hear about snipers not taking a shot because they might miss? Hell no. Now, there is something to waiting half a second or so to line up an easier shot, letting your boys strafe to make them easier to hit if you have the time. Of course, optimize your accuracy first, speed second. But fearing the beef so badly you don't even switch in the first place is a beta medic mindset. People die all the time because I start missing crossbow shots. Who gives a shit? I take the L and tell myself I'll hit them next time. The other baseless idea I've seen floating around is I don't crossbow much because I'm bad at aiming with it. Huh? Okay, dude, I'll tell you the secret to hitting your shots. Use the damn thing. Practice and get better with it. You can't improve your aim without shooting. Is it embarrassing when you miss that easy shot? Yes, but you just have to get over it. People say that I have pretty good crossbow aim, but do you think I was just born nutty? That I'm just built a bit different, a savant of the game? Well, yeah, of course I am, but I also use it a lot. And keep in mind the crossbow uses the projectile hitbox, which is this large rectangular prism that's the same size for every class. I mean, look at this thing. It can't be that challenging to hit. Finally, I can't wrap my head around why some people think the crossbow should be nerfed. Yes, it is far and above the syringe guns in terms of both power and usability. But does that alone mean it deserves a nerf? No, being better than the other options doesn't mean it should be nerfed. If anything, the other primary should all be buffed. A weapon should be nerfed if it is blatantly overpowered, which I don't think the crossbow is. Some people don't like that hitting a good crossbow from across the map can completely change the tide of a battle between two DPSs. But hey, isn't that medic's job? This is Team Fortress 2 for a reason. If you just want to DM and see who has better aim, play MGE or COD. The other valid reason for a weapon nerf is if it is flat out unfun to fight or negatively impacting the game's core design, even if it's not overpowered. The crossbow isn't unfun. If anything, it's the opposite. I've never seen people rage about fighting against a decent crossbow medic like they do a proper sniper or spy player. In the case of a simply unfun weapon, I would rather opt for a rework instead of just nerfing it into unusability. The Crusader's crossbow is just a natural extension to the medic class, giving him a harder to pull off but higher output Put way to do his main job of keeping teammates kicking. I love that it also increases medic skill ceiling significantly, and players can express that skill to better differentiate themselves from those beam brandings. So hop into a game and start letting those bolts ride. Make some fat plays and get hyphy with it. And most importantly, try to have fun. Medic has so much more to offer if you start thinking outside the beam. Don't watch out, there's a critical egg or raid fucking there. Oh, he just deaded instantly. Whoa! Jesus, dude, I'm gonna let you die. Oh my <laughs> they god! Throw up, dude, that bomb, dude, I'm, I'm, uh, I got plot armor on that one. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't even touch me.